All right, we'll work with the most complicated one here, and I'm going to give myself some more room. So I'm going to start just by simplifying and calling this x minus 1 to the 1 half minus x over 2 times x minus 1 to the 1 half. Um, because everything's being multiplied or divided in that second portion, I can move that reciprocal down, and everything's divided by x minus 1. So there's only one fraction right here, 2 times x minus 1 times 1 half, so that's my LCD. So I'm going to do this x minus 1 to the 1 half power minus x over all of this. divided by x minus 1, and we're going to multiply by 2 times x minus 1 to the 1 half over itself, okay, so we're going to start by multiplying these, and I get 2, well before we do x minus 1 to the 1 half times x minus 1 to the 1 half, what would happen if I just had x to the 1 half times x to the 1 half. Because they have the same base, we would add the exponents to give us x to the first power. We have the same base of x minus 1 here, so that's just when I multiply those out, x minus 1 to the 1 half plus 1 half or x minus 1 to the first power. So I can just leave that as it is. All right, now we'll multiply these minus, well, we have the same numerator and denominator. This will go on top here, and so it'll cancel out, leaving us just with x. So you can see the algebraic skills are what is important. And again here, I have 2, but I have x minus 1 times x minus 1 to the 1 half. Same base there, so it's like saying x to the first power times x to the 1 half power, which is really x to the 3 halves power. So we can take x minus 1 to the power of 3 halves there. All right, let's simplify this a little bit further. I'm going to extend this 2 to get 2x minus 2 minus x there divided by 2. And I'm going to just go ahead and clean this up a little bit. I don't need to write, oh, sorry. I don't need to write the square in there. That was silly. Ah. All right, well, 2x minus x is just x minus 2. That'll go up top over 2 times the square root. If we really wanted to clean this up, we could into... 2 times x minus 1 times the square root of x minus 1 because it's to the third power when I take the square root of x minus 1 squared. It's just x minus 1. We'll go ahead and extend that out so I get x minus 2 over 2x minus 2 times the the whole thing times the square root of x minus 1. Now, I can't cancel these out um, or do anything. Why do I keep doing that? Um, because, where's my undo button? Because they're not exactly the same factors, so we're going to leave that as x minus 2. That'll be one factor. And then we have 2x minus 2 times the square root of x minus 1. So, um, and I could have left it like this too. Both of those are pretty simplified, so either answer will do. I know this one is rough, so get some practice in today with these because they can get really complicated.